Welcome everybody to Avoto 3.7. In this video, I'm going to show you all of the new features Avoto 3.7 has to offer. If at any point in time you want to know what's new in any version of Avoto, here's a simple way to do it. On the bottom right, there's an icon of a question mark. Click on this and you'll see what's new. For now, we're going to focus on the top line. As you can see, it's called Image Supports Right Click Menu Edit in Avoto. So what we can do now is when you have a grouping of images open, you can right click on one of the images and you can say now open with Evoto. You can also use a group of images and also do the same, open with Evoto. Something I want you to notice is when you are in a current project and you right click and you open with Evoto, it's going to open in the current project. If you go to your home screen, now if you right click and open with Evoto, it will open in a brand new project. And that's it. That's how you right click and open in Evoto. It's a great time saver and something that's been very much requested by many users. Now here's another great new feature in Evoto 3.7. This deals with the backdrop changer. Normally when you change a backdrop, it selects the subject and masks the subject out. Then you can reduce the opacity, but notice there are objects in the picture and they just don't look right. Now here's what you could do with the new feature. First, I'm gonna select blue. Now you can select preserved areas, such as here, subject, which is the subject, subject and related objects, which are any objects that are connected directly to the subject. And that brings back the Apple box you're sitting on. Now we can also select subject, related objects, and here, non-connected objects. And that brings back the plant. Then as usual, you can reduce the opacity and bring back the shadows. We have our before and our after. Another great new feature in 3.7 is how we deal with each individual section. Previous to 3.7, any section you open will open up and you click on another section and that will open as well. Now all the sections are open. Now you can right click on any section. You can actually hit collapse all. It will close all the sections. You can also expand all the sections if you wanted to. But now we have the new solo mode. Once you check on the solo mode, any section that you're working on will be the only one open. The other ones will collapse. Really makes for a nice clean workspace and it was requested by a lot of users. Another great new feature is the AI headshot crop. It'll take images, as you can see here, that are all different proportions, and it will crop them to a similar size. So let's start with this image. We're gonna to go to crop, we're gonna to go to the drop down, and we're gonna to go to the bottom, which is AI headshot crop. There are different options which are discussed in a longer video. For now, I'm just gonna pick something like a five by seven just to start with, and you can adjust to your taste. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the crop to this image. I'm gonna hit okay. Now what you can do is you can take this image, which has the AI crop, and you can go to the top, and you can go to the drop down edit, and you wanna copy this settings. Now what you wanna do is turn off all the settings except for the crop, hit save, then I'm going to select all of my images and I'm going to paste the AI crop to all the images. Let's go up top again, edit, paste. You'll notice it processes down here. Now all the images are cropped the same. Another great new feature added at 3.7 is that Evoto can now automatically level horizon lines. This is located in the crop section. Just go to rotate. You see here all horizontal correction. Just hit auto, hit okay, and Evoto automatically leveled the horizon line. Here's a bunch of new features in 3.7 that I'm gonna show you with this image. The first one's under hair. We have new hair color. We can change the hair color as well as the amount and the darkening. Darkening is going to make this purple really deep, really light if we go on the light end. 
here. Let's choose something around 25% and maybe decrease the amount. There's your before and after. And we can choose another color. Adjust it to taste. Now in 3.7, right under facial reshape, we have the new head pose. We have the vertical, which will simulate looking down, looking up. So in this image, let's say I want her to look down a little bit. Horizontal will be the left and the right. So let's say I turn her to the left a little bit. Tilt will tilt the entire face all around, as you can see here. So let's give her a slight bit of tilt. And there's your before and your after. Another feature added is the new neck length. You'll find that under full body reshape. Here you see neck length. We can make the neck a little bit taller if we want. We can make it a little bit shorter if we want. Let's make her a little bit lengthy in the neck. Here's your before and after. Now let's make her a little bit shorter in the neck. Before and after. Also under facial reshape, if you go to the mouth, we have the new M-shaped lips. It just brings the lips in here. As you can see, I just moved it. Here's a before and after. See the difference there. Again, here's the before and after. So there you go. There's some great new features added to Avoto 3.7. Avoto is always listening to its customers and trying to improve. Hopefully these help you out. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel. Many more helpful videos are on the way.